large living room. TV goes right here. The flooring is really nice. It's like a grayish brown-ish color. Got this large open area right here. Open uh, window type area where you can see into the dining room. We're actually up on a hill. So you can see the skyline a little bit. Painted fence, patio slab, cover needs to be added, but the yard is good. Kitchen is beautiful. Granite. Cabinets are in pretty good shape. The only thing that I saw was this one right here. This one looks a little bit beat up, but you can you can use like a marker and kind of coat, fill in the holes and stuff like that and put some putty and fill it in. So, um, but besides that, look at the granite, it's, it's gorgeous. It has this like a reflected inlay. with a pull-out sink, I mean pull-out faucet, window. We've already checked all the cabinets. The cabinets are in good shape. The stove oven is a little bit beat up, so that probably needs to get replaced or repaired. Refrigerator is Samsung. Uh, freezer on the bottom, fridge on top, so it's a lot of space. Bathroom for your guests. Utility room slash pantry is big. They did a really good job at using the space. You got Samsung washer and dryer. Um, really good job at using the space. Look at all the cabinets and all the shelf space. I'm sorry, yeah, shelf space. Lots of space here for all of the uh, dry foods, cans, and then you can't really see the, the garage too well because they've got this big trailer. Uh, maybe if I put this up, you can kind of see. It's not painted, but um, it's got a good size. And then uh, there's a garage door opener there too, and it's plumbed too for your water, your water softener. There's somebody outside waiting for us, so I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna keep videoing until he kicks me out. I'm over time because of the rain. So up here, there's like a large, um, I can say a loft, but you got a really large space right here, kind of a large hallway. It's wider than your regular type of hallway. And then the master bedroom is huge too. You got two windows. And stand in the corner. So you could put a bassinet right here, a bassinet right here or a bassinet right here. I think any one of these places that you put a bassinet or a crib, uh, you have still have plenty of room uh, in the hole in the room in the in your master. So it's not like if you have a bassinet in there or a little crib in here, it's gonna take up all your space. That's not the case. Bathroom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, so like 8 by 11, not including your tub space. Very big. Very big space. And then you've got for your towels and your linen. Large. Like you can walk in here. You can walk in here. And then the closet is huge. This thing is enormous. Two of the rooms do not have lights. Let's look at the shower real quick. Tub. That's nice. These little shelves to put all your stuff. Your, sh your shampoos and... Alright, they're going to kick me out. Alright guys, I'm gonna take off. We gotta go because the other clients are here.